News 6's Lewis Bolton spoke to local immigration lawyers today. He joins us now live. So, Lewis, where are these illegal immigrants being held locally? Well, Julie, since there are no detention centers here in Orlando, someone picked up by ICE could be brought here to the Orange County Jail. I spoke with one local immigration attorney today, and she says these new immigration policies are really causing an impact in Central Florida. I have many legal and illegal immigrants that are in a state of panic that are worried about, you know, they want to secure that their status here in the United States. Immigration attorney Gail Searam says seeing parents separated from children is having a real impact on those in Central Florida illegally. She says even those with green cards are now concerned about their status. I find a lot more permanent residents are actually applying for U.S. citizenship because they want to secure and make sure that, you know, they're not going to be deported or forced to leave this country. While Central Florida doesn't have a border, it does have many people who are here illegally. If you are here illegally, and ICE gets a tip that here, hey, an illegal person is living at this house, ICE can't come and apprehend you. But when people are taken into custody for immigration violations in Orlando, there is no federal facility to hold them. Serum says they are often held at county jails before being transported to facilities in Jacksonville and South Florida. Then the court process begins. Serum says it can be months and sometimes years before someone goes through the process and finally deported. She says seeing small children away from their parents that long is disturbing. I don't think it's it's healthy for the child and healthy for the family to be separating these families in such a manner. This country has always had a history of families immigrating, but this country has never had a history of separating parents from children. Now we're going to talk more about immigration policies and the process associated with those policies, and we're going to hear more from Serum coming up at five o'clock. Julie, Lewis, thank you. Lewis Bolden reporting live for us.